Hey guys, it's RC Gade. Welcome to Squared Circle Rants Podcast. Yeah, we're just gonna, this is gonna be called the podcast. Why not? I'm gonna be looking at the WWE Backlash card and give my thoughts, throw in some predictions, and uh, just try to have some fun. Because why not, huh? Why not, huh? All right. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. All right, all right, all right. First, let's count how many matches we got here in Puerto Rico. Tomorrow we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So not terribly bad. And seeing the some of the people involved, I can see quick matches. God willing. <laughs> or I'm sorry, Tribal Chief willing. I don't know. Well, he says he's in God mode, doesn't he? I don't know. Anywho. Well, let's start with this one because I'm I'm a little pumped for it because I like all the men involved. I can see a lot of carnage. But also, I'm hopeful just for a good match. I'm talking about Bronson Reed versus Austin Theory versus Bobby Lashley. Yes, I just realized I should be looking here too. <laughs> I forgot I have two cameras I gotta go back and forth from. Anyway, uh, but yes, for the United States Championship, this should be good. You know, I, Bronson Reed, I love another awesome, agile big guy. And then Bobby Lashley, just a beast of a man. Well, Bronson is, that's the thing, he's a beast of a man, but he can move like, just as nimble as Lashley. And I like that. Just two different types of beast. And then you got Austin Theory. Mr. My phone is my prop. My <laughs> Mr. Selfie, Selfie. Although he's been doing pretty good at being a heel. I'll give him that. Well, no, he's doing better than that. I'm sorry. I don't mean to undercut him. So who's, in your opinion, winning... The WWE United States Championship. If I had to hazard a guess, um, <clears throat> all men involved deserving, but I have a feeling they're going to keep it on theory, especially with what we know Vince, while not lead of our head of creative, is also in their ear though, and he likes theory. So, but that that's, <clears throat> it's not just that alone. Theory is a good heel. I see him keeping it. Uh, he'll find a way, he, that dastardly heel. But I expect mayhem, carnage. What does Corey Graves say? Big, meaty men slapping meat. Yeah. But now to go from uh, big meaty men slapping meat, let's go to the Raw Women's Championship. Bianca Belair versus Io Sky. I'm not too excited. I mean, don't get me wrong, both female wrestlers involved are awesome. But there I just hasn't been a good build. Um, I was excited the whole damage control thing. Now it's just been kind of not terrible, but not, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but I think it's going to be a good match. It, bo Again, both ladies are talented. Both ladies can put on a good match. I just wish I cared more. But who's going to be Raw Women's Champion? Uh, I, I'd like EO to get the title. That'd be cool. That might help damage control in a way. 
give a story, but I just have a feeling they're going to put it right on Bianca or keep it on Bianca. So already two titles retained. One I'm more interested in, in the other. Uh, let me know what you guys think <laughs> as I go along here. For the SmackDown Women's Championship, Rhea Ripley versus Selena Vega. Again, it was just kind of put together. I am glad. Well, it is Zelina's hometown. I am happy for her that she's getting a women's championship opportunity. Again, it boils down to I just wish we had more of a buildup, but still going to be a great match. I love both of these ladies, especially mommy. <laughs> well, obviously, Rhea's going to keep it. She just got the title and is. As much as you like the hometown hero winning the title, even if just for a week or two, no way, that, that seems more of a ways to do it that way. But Rhea just got it. She's got to have more opponents. I will end up hoping for a dominant run with Rhea. She deserves it. So yeah, Rhea third retain <laughs> this is one okay i complained with both of the women's matches they were just kind of tossed together for various reasons that may or may have not made sense this is the one that truly was just thrown together i didn't even notice this on the rod happen but someone else did they literally just threw the graphic up on that Raw and saying, oh, we're getting Rollins and Omos. And I'm sure I wasn't the only one who went, why? <laughs> a lot, we, I do that a lot in wrestling now. Like, something so ridiculous, you, you just go, why? Like, you're not angry, you're not sad, you just... Yeah, so literally thrown together now the very next Raw, Rollins tried his best, but still this match makes no sense. So I guess we're just, I well me, I'm going to watch just to see Rollins try. Well, you would, it'd be more like watching um, almost try, but no, we're going to get something out of it. Come on. It's Rollins. Oh, okay. I won't, I won't do that too long. All right. A big match. Uh, this somewhat seems like backwards booking. You would think this would be before the Usos got their rematch title shot, but here we are. Uh, six man tag. Matt Riddle, Sami Zayn. What's his name? Kevin Owens. I rhymed. This one has had a major build. I do hope they, after this, they pause on Sammy and Owens interacting with the Usos, even though, yeah, well, I mean, not pause, but give it a little break. Like they can always still, that's their mission and the bloodline, but maybe break off to another team now that we have the draft, but no, this it's going to be a good match. Expect a lot of super kicks. I, and I get it. They're awesome. And I'm not a, well, I'm not a bad stickler. Well, maybe I am at some things, but if there's too many and it doesn't make like, okay, there was that. I was it the J versus Sammy. Yeah. Super kick after super kick. And I'm like, Okay, I love this match, but there's no way he's <laughs> surviving that. Come on. Uh, but no, good match. What I'm interested, really, and see, talk about a build. Them pushing this thought that what if Solo with orders turns on the Uso? See, that's been something that's been brewing you've been paying attention oh i love when wrestling does this give it to me baby uh-huh uh-huh that's a rock reference kids i have a good feeling who's gonna win the baby fossils 
I don't know, it'd be kind of nice if we get a hint of Riddle turning heel. Like, I wasn't cool with that, bro. I know, that's another thing. We I think we need a break from uh, Silly Riddle. I'm psyched for this match. Bad Bunny has been impressive. Actually, I forgot who said it. I think it was Cultaholic Wrestling. They made the comment that, <clears throat> or observation really, that Bad Bunny, or even lately celebs who have stepped into WWE at the very least, have done phenomenal. Like, I'm not a huge, although I'm coming, becoming a little bit, at least as wrestling, and I've made videos on him, but Logan Paul, I'm impressed. He's been doing good. Bad Bunny, very impressed. Like, not trying to pick on him, but his size, he's a music guy. Heck, Logan Paul was a YouTube guy, but very athletic. But no, Bad Bunny has never disappointed in a match. Um, the only little thing, so I, I got, there's only some things I'm a stickler on. Just like this. I, I do love me a good hardcore match. Doesn't it always have to have meaning? Well, I, I do like that, but... Uh, just, can we call it a no disqualification and move on? But it's the San Juan street fight. Eh, I mean, it's not as bad as when they do the gimmicky Christmas, you know what I mean? Or any holiday, but, eh, but no, it should be entertaining. I mean, I like the kind of story to it. Could have been better told, but see again, just a little bit, but no, it was told good. Just damn that freaking, uh, choke slam he sold. Oy. Or I don't know if that was selling or he underestimated how strong Damien Priest is. I don't know, but it was just, wow. Um, but yeah, bad bunny. I don't know, maybe find a way. He hasn't faced someone quite as big, like I said, but will he weave in, in and out? Will he get help? We don't know. Should be entertaining. I'll leave it to you. Do you want the priest? <laughs> I wonder if that was anyone's first thought when he came into WWE. We'll call him the priest and someone like vetoed quick. Like, uh-uh, no. <laughs> The priest or the bunny. Oh, can you, um, no, I'm actually, you, you can't imagine this. If bad bunny went to AEW, they would have an interaction. Bad bunny versus the bunny. You know, what would happen. <laughs> Damn it, I kind of want to see it. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And last but not least, we have the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes. I wasn't going to blast your ears, guys. Settle down. Uh, but no, uh, Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. Initially, I wasn't into this. Um... Because I thought, I mean, okay, Lesnar was getting heat on Cody, getting heat from the crowd, beating him up bad. I get it. But it just seemed like overkill. I, I know I've said it before, but then the very next week, Cody sold me. I think he sold all of us, and he's good at that. Lesnar's doing good too, but... Well, no, Lesnar's doing good. Uh, but yes, Cody versus Brock Lesnar should be a good match. I think it's going to be the main event, should be the main event, in my opinion, because Cody and Bro Brock Lesnar is a name. <laughs> I just haven't always been happy with his work, uh, or lack thereof. Anyway, don't hurt me. <laughs> no, should be a good match. Uh, since it's the main event, you got to think that it's going to go longer than a usual Brock match hopefully and heck they're paying brock big and brock can pull it out when he wants to we've seen that and also he can just keep it under two minutes when he wants to should be entertaining <clears throat> i love cody 
Brock's grown on me. <laughs> Just like Logan Paul. Uh, but no, it should be a really good match. <clears throat> a lot of suplexes, possibly. I just hope they don't overkill. And like what I I brought it up to, and they at least toned it down a little. Like I was starting to get tired of the uh, combat club. You know what I'm talking? I can't Blackpool. It, it was just like okay, we get it. Like it, maybe that's why I thought that was overkill. But no. Brock always gives a lot of those. Cody could pull off a lot of crossroads. He is 100. No, he was cleared. I don't know if they ever said 100%, but that should be a great way to uh, end the show. I'm hoping it's Cody. Cody has to get some big wins and clean in the ring. I think Brock would do business. Yeah, he would. But no, I'm going for Cody. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Those were, or were. That is the match card for WWE Backlash tomorrow on Premium Live Event or Pay-Per-View. Actually, I think Pay-Per-View would be more expensive. That's one thing about AEW. They're not too spendy on pay-per-view. You could still lower it a little. <laughs> uh, but no, let me know what you guys think. Are you pumped for the show? Uh, what are your predictions? Are you happy for it? Who do you think will win? What are you most excited to see? Let me know in the comments here. And yeah, have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. I think I'm going to call it that now. <laughs> I don't know. This is We're just trying things out. I'm trying to make a living out of this. So, But also just trying to have fun with it. So I hope you guys had fun. Really hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, share, subscribe. Join the Facebook page. Like, share, and subscribe on YouTube. Squared Circle Rants on YouTube. I also have Squared Circle Rants over on Instagram as well. Check me out there. And have a great day, guys. What's that smell? Oh my god! So, what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs>